I wanted to uh, wait to make this video until the Ravens made a corresponding move, but haven't seen anything yet, and I gave it a little while, so we up now. But anyway, um, YouTube team, keep it clean. Uh, they The Ravens placed uh, guard Tyree Phillips on injury reserve, and it's most likely going to end this season. It hasn't been anything confirmed, but it's probably going to end up ending his season. Uh, the Ravens, their injury reserve has been busy. It's been very, very, very busy. Now they are going to get some guys back from injury reserve, like a Nick Boyle, like a Rashad Bateman, like a Miles Boykin. Uh, but then you got a lot of guys that went there, and they're going to be there for the entire year, like Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, J.K. Dobbins, L.J. Ford, Marcus Peters. Oh, my goodness. It's just uh, that, that sounds so bad when you say it out loud and you start listing people. Um, anyway, uh, in a surprise move that I'm still I'm, I'm trying to understand. And maybe y'all can help me understand this because I, I literally don't understand it at all. Unless they're going to be doing some maneuvering. Um, they released Trent, Trenton Cannon. So Trenton Cannon last night, he looked good on, on the one carry that he got. He looked comfortable. He looked explosive. And it was like, man, he, he looked like the, uh, the next best running back after Tyson Williams. Because Tyson Williams, he looked good as a runner. But the Ravens were like, you know what? He's looking good as a runner. We're up. No more Tyson Williams. Give him two second half carries. Give him one second half catch. All right, that's enough from him. Some people are saying he was banged up. Uh, I was thinking when he did that fumble on the sideline, maybe Harbaugh was like, Harbaugh probably gave him that. Come here. I don't know what it was. I don't know why they just completely stopped with Tyson Williams. And it's, and it's crazy because uh, Latavius Murray ended up getting more carries than Tyson Williams. He did. And I know that Ravens, they don't typically like to go with the young guys at, at certain positions and whatnot. They don't like to typically go with the young guys over the veterans and whatnot. But that, that whole thing just blew my mind. But anyway, with Trenton Cannon, he looked good on special teams, man. He looked good on special teams. So the only thing, the only way this, this can possibly make sense, because right now I believe they have four, four open roster spots. Because they had two going, in, going into the game last night, and now they've opened up two more. So the only thing I can think of is that they will be elevating Le'Veon Bell, um, somebody who will be good in pass protection, as was Latavius Murray. Now, neither one of the two is like really explosive like a Tyson Williams or Trenton Cannon was, but they'll be better in pass protection. Um, but anyway, I would think that one of the spots will go to Le'Veon Bell. And then maybe they uh, maybe they put Trenton Cannon on a practice squad. And because I, I just. I don't know. And not to say you can't replace that on special teams, but I don't know. That, that one just threw me for a loop. It, it just threw me for a loop. So I just, I don't know. I, I don't know what to think of it. Um, the Ravens, I know a lot of people just up in arms over the offensive line. Uh, a lot of people have been getting on Alejandro Villanueva. Ronnie Stanley, he didn't look good last night either. Um but the Ravens, and I know some people have been talking about, oh, could the Ravens possibly trade for somebody? Could they sign somebody? What can they do? But their options are like, they're limited. Now, they did restructure Marlon Humphrey's contract early today. So that cleared up some cap space. I'm not sure exactly how much. Um, and they did some restructuring to somebody else's deal uh, a few days ago, too, to get some more money. I, I, I forget who it was, though. So Ravens, they're they trying to have a little more pocket change. So maybe they're thinking of something, whatever that is. I'm 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 lost right now. I have no clue what they are doing. But everything should reveal itself uh, sooner or later. Um, so we just got to be patient with it. Uh, I appreciate y'all checking out the post-game thoughts video. Thank you for watching that. Uh, but we had a lot to say. When I was recording and just talking, I did not realize it was going on that long. It was like a live stream. The video ended up being like 45 minutes long. Um, but... We covered everything that we wanted to talk about from that game. Uh, so anyway, I, when we find out what these corresponding moves are going to be, y'all know I'll let you know. Uh, I appreciate y'all, and I am going to get back to teaching Carter uh, his first grade again. Shout out to homeschool. We out.